Sometimes, after we get the barrel a nice wipe down, a little bit of wipe down. Spray the trigger a little bit. Just wipe off the any excess. Barrel back in. A quick wipe out any dust or any dirt in here. here. Just try to keep stuff in order. Easy to put it back together. It's a little hard when your hands are nice and greasy. And started. Back started. Snug him down. Don't go too crazy. A little snug. The top wood here, just give it make sure nice if everything's nice and clean, no dirt or dust in there. Ready to put this back on. Same as the first. Slide this in underneath there. Slide your band down. There's a little locking spring there. This one will go lock right here. Push all the way back here. A little, just a little bit of tension on it. This is your front band. This is your not a sling mount. It's a place where they used to stack them. They had a little pyramid, a little teepee. Yeah, pyramid look. A little A-frame, I guess. Uh, and then here's the last one. Starting it. So we gotta squeeze the band together a little bit. Where is he holding it? There you go, you got it. that. Like I said I had a little I spread inside the barrel real quick a little earlier let it soak for a second too. 
looks like these are boar snakes. Spray a little bit cleaner at the very end. A little bit of oil and CLP. Drop it down the barrel. Pull through. And that's basically what I'm going to do. It was nice and clean anyway. After I come back from the range, I might sometimes I run a couple patches through it first, get it cleaned out before I do the boar snake. And the boar snake, I know, use. After everything's been cleaned out, just like to run it through. Plain, simple, easy. All right, now that everything's clean, nice and clean, time to put the bolt back in. Gotta have, have have this out perpendicular. Gotta have your extractor on the right side. That lock and lug up here, on top. Remember your uh, mag zoom. So it's your follower is going to stop it. This is your magazine cut off and on and off. That stops it from going all the way back so it won't pick up another round. Now it'll pick up another round. But see, now it'll stop. Once, once you're out of rounds, your follower stops the bolt. Basically it. How I always store most bolt actions, pretty much everything, if I can. It's simple. Just hold the trigger down when you close the bolt. Drops your firing pin down. Now you have no tension on your no tension on it. So you just pull the trigger in. There you go. That's all I do. I'm just gonna give a nice good wipe down and it's gonna be ready for the range. Yeah, that's my 1903. Very accurate. Enjoy building. This one is gonna just enjoy taking to the range. Alright, thanks for watching.